What is going on you guys? It's KOLFAN93 back here with another unboxing. Yep, here we go again. We've got another Figs Inc. unboxing. Uh, this is a WWE replica belt in this box. This is actually uh, kind of rare. Uh, not necessarily, but to, to some degree, you'll, you'll understand more in just a minute. But anyway, yeah, we've got a box here from eBay. New belt day. Uh, I've actually been looking for this belt for quite a long time. Uh, for over 10 years, I can say that. So uh, I did get this off of eBay. And, I mean, I got it for a really good price. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to really say anything negative. But the buying experience was not all that great. But nevertheless, it's here. It's done. And uh, we're going to see if it was worth what I paid for it. Which wasn't even that much. But uh, anyway, I'm going to shut up and let's get into this thing. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get that trusty knife and let's get into it. All right, so as always, you guys know this part. This is uh, my pretty frequent reminder to head on over to Max Revere's channel and check out that Over the Shoulder podcast, a brand new episode just came out today. Uh, it's actually Rob Stanilov's final episode, if I do understand correctly. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. They're covering all the current world titles in that one. Uh, of course, if you're watching this video in the future, the date for that is going to be uh, June 22nd, 2022. But anyway, yeah, go check out Max Revere's channel right now. Give him a sub. You guys will really like what you find over there. And then, of course, go check out my boy 1990 Hardy One right here on YouTube. Uh, he's got unboxing videos, live event vlogs, reviews, all kinds of really cool stuff. I think you guys will like his channel. Go check him out, 1990 Hardy One. And lastly, remember to go over to Facebook right now, look up Belt Addicts Anonymous, hit that join request, get in there, join this movement, come share your belts, let's talk about them, let's have a good time, buy, sell, trade. And just have some fun. So yeah, one more time, let me plug that name. Belt Addicts Anonymous. Right there on Facebook. Okay guys, so I kind of have this weird belt taco going on here. Uh, it's two medium flat rate boxes together, so good job. Uh, yeah. I can't even really do my bubble wrap gag. I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, I mean, kudos on the packaging. Uh, lots of bubble wrap. That is never a bad thing. Let's see if I can, yeah, get out one swoop right there. Ah! All right, so here it is, you guys. Uh, the good old cloth figs ink WWE logo bag. Love these bags. I've got a ton of them now. Uh, really, really cool. Just brings back so many fond memories. So, uh, like I said, this is a Figs Inc. belt. Uh, this is actually a pretty common belt that you can find on WWE Shop today. But uh, this one that's in the bag, I guess, would be the original version of it that there really weren't that many of made. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that right there is a shame. So uh, we have flaw number one, we've got a rip in the belt bag. I can get past that, I could probably patch that up. Anyway, let's get this thing open. Okay. Yeah, this is the anti-Daniel Bryan eco build. All right, it's upside down in the bag. So let me just, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. This is one of those belts that had the Figs Inc. sticker instead of a patch. Uh, I'm really amazed that I found this thing with a sticker because you just, you don't find them with the stickers hardly ever. I had another version of this that would have had the sticker, but it was removed. That might've been restrapped though, I'm not really sure. All right, you guys, so it's out of the bag, and I can tell you it's, it's a little dusty, a little dirty. We definitely need to clean the back of this thing up here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the back of it. Does this 
tell you what belt it is. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the big reveal in three, two, one. I hope it's awesome. All right, guys, you are looking at the 2013 Scratch Big Logo Belt version one. Uh, this is the original one that really, really pissed off the folks that were in charge of replica belts at WWE. And uh, severed ties with Fig Zinc first. They were pretty pissed about the... Uh, the winged eagle having the G in the word champion. And then this thing came out, so they were just done, and this is what ended that partnership and got us to where we are today. So, yeah, the big logo version one. Let's see it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's dusty. Clean that up, no problem, though. Yep. So. I want to make one thing clear. I love this belt. I absolutely love it. It's hideous. And it's hideous because of how wrong and inaccurate it is. Uh, do not get me wrong. I love having this thing to, because this version of the belt is rare. Because this one, if I can get in a little bit closer and show you, has no texturing whatsoever behind the WWE logo. Okay, that is exhibit A. Exhibit B, it's dusty, but look there in between the WWE logo, it's not cut out. That is solid metal right there. Look at the side plates. See how they sink in? Yeah, they don't have those little uh, rivet pieces in here to keep the side plates flush, so yes, these are sunken in. Um, I know it sounds like I'm talking a lot of trash about this belt, but I... I love it because of what it is. This was, I wouldn't really say it was an error belt, but it was an inaccurate belt that severed the tie. So this is technically uh, one of the last Fig Zinc belts ever made. And I'm so glad I have it. I've been chasing one of these for years. Um, yeah, this thing is freaking sweet. I do have to replace a gem. I've just seen that right there. And other than that, uh, I just need to clean it up. And we're in good shape because this thing is in really good condition but yeah you guys this thing is pretty freaking sweet i absolutely love it i'm glad i got it definitely need to get everything set up very soon to do the comparison video with the version 2 and the version 1 and maybe for whatever reason probably won't if i ever get a hold of a v3 again maybe i'll do one big comparison but i don't know we definitely need to do one so you can see the inaccurate versus the accurate this is so freaking cool, you guys. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's video, you guys. I want to thank every one of you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. Click the bell. Get my notifications. You know you want them. I know you want them. <laughs> also, make sure you head on over to Belt Addicts Anonymous on Facebook right now. Check us out. Make sure you answer those security questions. Come in. Share your belts. Look at belts. Buy belts. Sell belts. Have a good time. Anyway, that's it for today, you guys. I'm KWLFan93. And I'll see you next time.